Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, I'm gonna be going over a brief interview of the ACF sample 5.4. This is the regular one because the ultimate did not come out just yet. We're still waiting on the UI tools to be supported for 5.4, which should be either today or tomorrow. And yeah, for this, I'm just gonna do a brief first time overview of this sample. So a lot of things have been added. So you'll notice that under the mana bar, there is a X XP bar now. So when I kill something, it will show up there. So we had this before the interactable. So if I hit E, it'll actually just take a screenshot for now. Got arrows and coins. And in the chest, you'll be able to see the thumbnail actually showing up. And I can just click on it to grab it. Offhand sword, so on. And I have to make sure I don't actually click escape because that's what I'm used to clicking. So we have an automatic rifle, a pistol, shotgun, generic bullets, offhand sword. Basic shield, wood, and so on. So I'll just equip the basic shield by clicking on and clicking equip. People coming after me? Oh, okay. So if I click one, it'll take out my sword and shield. If I click two, it'll drink my potion. Three is my bow. Now I know Pask has added some string pull, and I can actually see the arrow in my hand. I'm actually not sure if that was there before. So if I hit F8. So yeah, this looks this looks really cool. So my character is actually pulling the string of the bow and lining up for a shot. So I'll hit F8 again to go back into it. And now if I release it, I got just creeped up. So four is my whistle. And if I use five, it'll be my magic spell. That's pretty OP, especially since it doesn't take any mana, which is really broken. And then six. Okay, that's actually really cool. So six is actually slowing them down. And you can see their movement getting impaired by, by the frost. Oh no, it's it's happening. Okay, whoa, whoa okay. <laughs> Seven is another spell. Oh, that actually took some mana. And you can see my XP going. So that's actually pretty cool. And the heal one is actually taking my but I guess for tutorial purposes, I'd see why the fire and ice are not taking any. You know. Eight. Oh, okay, so eight is like an AOE ability. This is actually super cool. Oh, okay, okay. I have to click eight again. Okay, wow. Uh, let me try it over there. So if I, so if I click eight again, it's gonna just, yeah, it's gonna rain fire. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, combat's really fluid. I'm really liking this. Execute work, and you can see my XP go up again after the seam finishes. Now let's take a look at some of the other components. I'll use the horse. This one. And in order to use the horse for the sample, you just click W to keep walking. And if you keep clicking W, it'll um, go faster and faster. And if you keep clicking S on the keyboard, it'll slow down. Okay, so it's actually Alt in order to get off the horse. Probably should have checked the settings. Oh, this is really cool. So whenever you're about to interact with something, it'll hi it'll give them a little highlight over them. I didn't even notice that. That's actually pretty cool. And now the new section, I really like that glowing effect. That's super cool. So now this is a strength buff. So I should be doing more damage. Okay, yeah. So I see the buff effect on my character. This will freeze me. Oh, okay. It'll slow me down, kind of. And then this one is a poison. So I'll be taking, I'll be taking damage over time. Now if we use seven to heal, the consuming my mana and healing me up. That's pretty cool. So spells are going to be a lot easier to add now. And you can add status components on it too. So let's see how much damage I do with this strength buff. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but... Pretty sure my strength buff wore off by the time I got here. And my horse. Horsey, no! Come back! And then here are the vault animations. And oh, when I fall and took damage, my character going red. And swimming is pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much for just the sample itself. I would really recommend anyone who's creating game just to start with the full sample. Just because a lot of it's already set up for you. I've Tried. I am making a project using ACF from scratch, and it is a lot of work. 
still really easy to use compared to just starting scratch from Unreal Engine. Ascent Combat Framework definitely saves thousands of hours. And yeah, I could I would recommend this framework to anyone. So for example, I just have this little cow character. It is still pretty buggy. And the attack hit noise is actually just the cursor button that you'll be hearing. And then I put whatever component, whatever effects were in the um that came with Unreal. So it's like this Niagara component of fireworks and this explosive thing. And all it is is two cows just battling it out. There's no death animation, but this is using a scent combat framework. And it only took me like maybe two hours to set up so far. And most of the stuff I've been working on was like animation stuff, retargeting, and also just setting stats and yeah, just testing a lot of things out. <laughs> I know quite a few companies that are actually making MMORPGs with this. MMOs are a huge time commitment and will definitely be at least a five, six year process. So yeah, start small, start learning Ascent Combat Framework. And I'll be creating more tutorials. And yeah, thanks for watching. Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll start off with all the tutorials pretty shortly now that 5.4 is finally out. Or Ascent Combat Framework 3.5 for Unreal Engine 5.4 is finally out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.